What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another show. This one is going to be... Uh, this one here, I'll be able to kick a lot of the game I've already kicked on this channel. I'll be able to reference... Hang on. Got a little groove going on. That music will go away momentarily because we're going to have to watch this video. Uh, so we're going to be going over another video. Uh, get yourself a drink. Relax. We're going to watch a video. It's approximately... Heck, I think it's an hour. <clears throat> and so I'm going to be stopping where I see an opportunity to teach. And so uh, I watched this video last night. Uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel. It's in the description. And uh, I got a lot of good stories. Pardon me. A lot of good stories. Not stories. Uh, <laughs> real life situations. And it's uh, the Law and Crime Network. It'll be down in the description along with this video. Give them a, a, a follow. And, and uh, there's a lot of, a lot of interesting people. <laughs> Uh, you get you learn a lot about life there if, if you haven't been through a lot. Anyway, throughout this broadcast, I'm going to stop and point to you where the man messed up. Okay. Now, obviously, the woman messed up too. The woman, uh, what she did here was um, barbaric, barbaric, and quite dark. And so you got to be careful who you deal with and, and how you deal with them. And so we'll be watching this video. And in between, I'm going to show you, I'm going to reference leading the relationship, um, killing the simp, really all of my work. Uh, there's going to be a reference to it at some point. And so kick back, relax, Monday morning, top of the week. I want to wish everybody here, let's take a moment and be thankful that we have another opportunity at life. Make sure you seize it and don't take it for granted. Do not take it for granted. I want to say good morning to Jay Bird Got Game. What's good? I did open it up to subscribers here today. LFA in the house. Good morning to you, brother. What do you say? Coach EO is on. <laughs> Appreciate you, man. Hope all is well on your end. I know you stopped jacking it. <laughs> Fucking with you, fam. I know you stopped jacking it. Good. Uh, good to see you, LFA. Good to ha have you pop in. Check his channel out, guys. Go check LFA out. Sperling Lily member. On the grind, swollen and rolling, baby. How you guys doing? Yes. Mr. Mabane, good to see you. Good to see you back. Uncle Gun's in the house. The General. I salute you. Thank you so much for your work. Uh, SNO in the house. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> okay. K. Marie, good morning. Uh, Flaming Dragon, the video is not available. Look, my brother, look. I just checked it out. Look, it is, it is, it, I don't know what video you're talking about, but you need to search, search a little bit. Look, look before you talk. It's something I want to see more guys do. I think they just see something and they're like, wait, wait, it ain't there. Like, just, just investigate a little bit first. It might not be there, but investigate a little bit. I want guys to do that. Please, please do that. Take that well. ISO. Salute to you, coach. Hope all is well on this beautiful day. Likewise, thank you so much. Yes, very thankful for this life. Richard Ray, good morning to you. Uh, still I rise. Elevate Zaddy. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Anthony Coleman, good morning to you. Okay, let's get into the video. Again, get yourself a drink. Let me turn this music off. I was just vibing out in the office here today, setting everything up. And uh, we're going to turn this off. There we go. Again, the title is um, Jealous Woman Kills Boyfriend Because He Was Breaking Up With Her. There's a way to break up with women. There's a way to break up with women. There is a way. 
It isn't just it's over. I mean, you might get shot. You know, you might you might get stabbed in the shower or something. And so you got that's where game comes in. Self awareness. C yeah, C Styles. Good morning to you. So there's there's a way to engage with women from the jump. There is a process in val in vetting them to see if they qualify to even be your woman. There's there's some mistakes this man made, and I think he was just naive, or he was just living in the moment, and not realizing that there are certain things that you introduce to a woman that that she that maybe she'd not qualify for. It, it, you know, you got to be careful, especially a woman who's needy, who gets attached easy. Uh, this woman clearly is entitled. Um, I think she's used to getting her way, and in this particular situation, she 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 did not get her way, and and she responded in horrific fashion. Brian Harper, good morning to you. Good morning, EO. Toxic femininity is real, but they don't talk about that. That's true. That's true, and that's why we're talking about it. That's true. Women are scumbags. Women can be scumbags. They can, just like men. Men can be some women can be pieces of shit. And I'm gonna say they could be low down pieces of shit. And I'm glad in this particular situation she got caught. She thought she was gonna get away with it, you can tell. And she got caught. And uh let me see what Flaming Dragon says. I, I clipped, uh, I flip, okay, and it says it's not available. Maybe it's because I'm, perhaps, my brother, perhaps. Just kick back, relax. If you can see us, just just enjoy the show. But please uh, refrain from, uh, do a little research always first. Um, you know, before you essentially open the mouth, I would say, I'd say that to men and women. And so uh, women can be pieces of shit. Uh, they are not. They are not um, princesses. They are not innocent. They are highly manipulative. Highly, they do not believe in personal accountability. It must be forced upon them. Most women, the majority, are there's some. There's some special cases, sure, but. Not every man is wrong, but also not every man has game. So, you know, I see what you see, but I don't experience what you experience, if that makes sense. I see what you see, but I haven't experienced in a very long time. Sure, I had to experience it in order to get the game. I had to experience it, but I haven't experienced it in a very long time. So there's a difference. I can see what you're seeing, but I'm not experiencing that. And so I hope you get that. I see what you see. I see morons, men and women both. But I don't experience that because I have tunnel vision and I'm very focused on what I want in my life and then on myself. And so I want that for you. That's the, you know, the core of this message. Now, there's some good women out there, too. Or I would say they have the capability of being very good. Women are good to you when they see value in you. Women are good to you when they see value in you. Women are terrible to you when they see no value to you. I actually think men are nicer. Men are nicer naturally than women in terms of we might see someone we don't like, but we'll still try to be courteous to them. You know, there might be a woman that wants us or something, and we're not going to be mean to them. Women are just, they can be mean, man. Fucking little demons. And I say that, I mean, they are. I mean, again, I'm not experiencing it. I'm seeing it. There's a difference, okay? Experiencing and seeing are two different things. And so I see, you know, especially, especially when they don't want someone or something, how they discard people, um, how they belittle and women can be little fucking demons. And so you got to know this. Women are not innocent. They're not special. They're none of that. Okay? They're not special until you decide they're special. They're not valuable until they provide you value. And so I'm telling you, I've been telling you this for the longest time. 
But that doesn't mean to walk around with judgment, though. You don't want to walk around with that those experiences from the past still inside of you, because then now you're 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 disrupting your flow by doing that. So it's good to have this awareness. It's good to know human nature, your own nature, and other people's nature. I'll tell you both sides. Women can become beautiful when they're with a man they admire. Women are act right. Women don't just act right, okay? They don't. <laughs> they don't. Women will act right if the consequence of not acting right means they lose something they truly want. Now, this is all human beings. This is not just women. Or, it's not. It's, it's men, too. But women are worse. Women can be spoiled little brats. And, and part of that, I blame society. I blame parenting. I blame simp dads. Come here, pumpkin. Sit on my lap, pumpkin. Fuck out of here. That's why they act, grow up and act like this. Ground them motherfuckers. Treat them like boys. I, I mean it. Fair. Neutral. Neutral across the board. Don't don't punish your son harshly and then let this little bitch off the hook. Nah. That's part that's part of the problem too. You pedestalize women women. You let them off the hook. Nah, fuck that. She needs to be punished. Punish her ass. And it might sound mean. I mean it only when necessary. I'm talking about parents. Like, withhold from these little motherfuckers. But you know, dads are simps too. Most people that get married are simps. The majority. Are there some that are not sure? The majority of men that get uh, the majority of men that get married are simps. There are some that are not, but the majority are. Uh, Five dollars. EO going in real early with facts. Thank you so much. I mean, I'm just going in with the truth. Appreciate it. So we're gonna watch this video now. I just kind of wanted to give you a quick monologue, uh, an introduction to, you know. So these bitches are crazy and so fucking a crazy chick and then making her your girlfriend and, and doing some of the things this guy did well you know possibility of getting shot by the bitch is there this is why this is why if, if you know there's no future with abroad you still want to roll with her because maybe you like their fat ass or whatever you want to hit that you better not do anything extra for her she better know at all times that she is here for physicality and that's it we're here to throw down and that's it anything extra you do and she starts thinking in her mind well he he took me to lunch oh 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 i met the parents oh 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 he texts me a lot oh 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 he asked me how my day was oh oh oh, oh. you got to be careful now she thinks y'all are going somewhere and then you because you don't have game and because you fair you you afraid to lose this motherfucker and uh you can't just give it to her straight. Now she can't she can't emotionally deal with the severance. It's not that she don't want to. Let me say this about women. It's not that they don't it's not that they want to act crazy. I don't think women want to act crazy. I don't think they know how not to act crazy. <laughs> okay? So you need to understand that when you're dealing with women, it's not like she wants to be crazy. She don't know how to not be crazy. So she actually needs to be around settled people, settled men, a settled man, a strong man. That's not crazy himself. Now, that's not, that doesn't mean you can change crazy. However, if the woman is on the, on the brink of sanity and crazy, <laughs> you might be able to, hey, listen, you want to you wanna settle life? Yeah, you want to act right, bitch? You better follow my fucking lead. And if she wants that, she'll follow your lead. If she's into you enough, she will follow your lead. She's got to be into you. She's got to like the way you look. She's got to like the way you smell. She's got to like your style. She's got to like how you handle your business affairs. She's got to like how you are dismissive to things that you don't want to have in your life. She has to see that you are independent, self-sufficient. When a woman sees this, they're attracted why do you think I talk about this shit? I've been talking about this since I started this motherfucker.
And so, um, Alex, good morning to you. 19, long time. Hope all is well to you, you and your family. Respect to you. ISO, the more of a man you are, the more of a woman she will be. Not in all cases, but yes. If the woman is, see, again, it all comes back to initial attraction. She's got to like your look. She's got to like your voice. She's got to be drawn to you. She's got to like, you got to inspire her. You have to inspire her. You know how you inspire a woman? she got to have that tingling sensation down between her legs. Real talk. If she doesn't have that, you ain't inspiring a no bitch. She'll just pick game off you and run off and, and go do it by herself somewhere. Okay? The only way to get a bitch inspired is through the tingling and the sensations down between the legs. If it's not there, move the fuck on. You ain't going to inspire this bitch. What? You, get, you, 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 uh, you wear her down? through constant communication and then one day you find her in a vulnerable spot and maybe she lets you hit it that ain't real attraction bro that's not real attraction we ain't wearing no bitches down we don't wear bitches down over here we don't wear we don't wear you down fuck that i'm the leader you get in my space you get in my space if you're qualified to be in my space. Okay? If you're worthy enough to get in my space. This sounds very arrogant. I don't care. It's true. It's the way it has to be. You don't just let anyone into your environment. You don't let just anyone into your space. They must qualify. Even a man. Even if you, even if it's one of your boys. If he's fucking up your program, compromising shit, you know, doing the legal activity. Come on, get the fuck out of here, bro. I'm running a tight ship over here. Bring your sloppy ass over here and, 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 and compromise my setup. And so you even have to be discriminative against men as well. Zero likes. Good to see you. Good to see you. Iceberg. All right, man. All right. Bernie, I see you, B. Good morning. Uh, uh, what does it say? A Bratworth? No, I'm just fucking with you. Good morning from Brandon. Good morning. I do want to announce a few people that hit us up on the Cash App overnight. Coach Uppercut, good morning to you. Ethan, you got to be more of a man. Oh, we talked about that. I want to thank uh, Gerald Martin with a $20 cash app overnight. You change lives every day. Thank you so much. I want to thank Dean uh, sent $30. Great video today. And I want to thank Avery Jones, $40, who's very regular on the cash app overnight, for letting go with EO and the champion game. My pleasure. Okay, let's get into this. Again, I'm going to be stopping along the way, but I'm going to show you all this all this little game here and there. In case you can't see it, EO Domus sees it before it happens, so I'll show you. <laughs> all right, let's go. Yo, can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? We, we still here. Hold on. <laughs> and let me know if you guys can see me, man. Yo. <laughs> All right. Uh you know what I you know what? Last one I did hit him with this. And uh we missed that. So uh So basically, man, the kind of you know the video is in the description. You can watch it yourself. But he made a lot of rookie mistakes, and but that's that's gonna happen when you don't have a lot of experience. But it can, you know, you got it can be costly. You know, it could be costly. This is why too um, women can want you also for your status. 
And so he was a, a young lawyer. Uh, where I was going to is like, yo, you got all this time to complain, but you ain't cleaning nothing. That's why you got look, his house for a lawyer. Come on, man. You look like a garage. Like no vacuum lines. <laughs> no fabuloso. I don't hear a washer going. You know, you ain't in the, I don't, the oven ain't on 350. Like, fuck out of here complaining. Bitch, you don't even do shit. <laughs> fuck out of here complaining. Unless that oven is on 350. Uh, the baseboards are sp sparkling. I got vacuum lines. It smells great. I can hear the washer and dryer going. Uh, the bed's made. You can talk after that. It, I'm serious. That's why she was talking so much. He didn't have her on jobs. You got to tire your women out from work, from working for you. Ser seriously, and they love that. They feel included. They feel um, part of the of the process. And so, um, okay, flaming. Appreciate it. So, uh, it's another thing. Why you got guns out like that, bro? Uh, I had to tell a client that recently. He, he, uh, I respect this man a lot, but he has some guns. I'll hold off on that. I'll hold off on that. But, uh, like, don't introduce your women to guns and shit, especially if she ain't your wife. If if, if this is going to be a woman that's going to be your wife, maybe you can take her to the shooting range. Maybe you could show her how to hold a pistol, you know, how to point and shoot. You know, that, that way she can protect herself if you're not there. But don't, don't, that's like bad game. Just taking a bunch of uh, women to the, to the shooting range. Hey, let's go to the shooting range. Like, okay, now you introduce her to guns. As the as, later on, the girl actually said in one of her text messages that he took her to the shooting range and that she wanted to shoot him at the shooting range and call it an accident. <laughs> like, you guys would be putting women in position to kill your ass. Like, guns should be put up. Not every, you shouldn't even, you know, um, you shouldn't even brag about your guns. You know, it's a it's a lethal weapon, man. And look, she she used his own gun to shoot him six times. She shot him six times. And so, um, so much bad game out here when he with these dudes. This is this is this is why. <laughs> This is why y'all ain't got no fucking game, man. And then when a the dude with real game tries to tell you that, you reject it. You're like, nah, man, I'm just going to fly overseas. They don't do that over there. Okay. Okay. Uh, watch out. They're going to have your, your fucking kidneys in a bathtub full of ice. And I'm not saying that can happen anywhere. I know you're going to hear the copes come. But you got to have game no matter where you are on planet Earth. Anywhere on planet Earth, you got to have game. And so... Uh, he took her to the shooting range, introduced her to guns, left his guns out. Shit, I sleep with one eye open. <laughs> but you got to be careful what you talk about, what you introduce. Even if he was a hotshot lawyer, maybe he was telling her about his job. Oh, you know, I got my own practice and I do this like... That's why I, told, I made a video about this, guys. I said, when a woman asks you what you do, you don't have to tell her right away. But guys without game, I'm a lawyer. I'm a broker. I teach crypto. Like, get the fuck out of here, man. Don't tell her shit. She don't need to know that shit. So what do you do for a living? You know what? Uh, if we make it to round two, this is what you say. I, I respect the question. If we make it to a round two, we can talk about what we do. Tonight, we're having fun, and we're just getting to know each other aside from that kind of stuff. And you know what the woman's going to say? Number one, she's going to want to get to round two. Now, now she wants to get to round two, so she's going to ensure that her behavior is good enough to get to round two. But only a man with fucking game and self-respect can even say something like that. So you, So if it comes up, Hey, good question. Round two. Maybe we talk about that kind of stuff. Tonight, we're having fun. That's how you do it. 
But then, but you're gonna see these guys that that live in their purpose. This is all purpose. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I, I, I'm a pharmaceutical sales rep, and I travel around. I do this. I got a house over here in a gated community. She's like, oh shit, Sim. Okay, got a Sim on my hands. <laughs> he stands on that shit. He stands on that shit. A man that is, has earned a lot wants to protect what he has. And he also realizes that this world is full of fucking scumbags and jealous people. It has some good people, too. You don't want to focus just on that. But you don't want to walk around naive, either. People are out on, on the take. Very jealous world. Jealous mentality. And so protect your shit. I never even let women in my car. There's dudes out here that rent cars and buy cars so women can get in. Women don't even get in my car. My car is for me. Fuck that. My car is for me. SNO's been in the car. Uh, took her a minute to get in the car. A long ass time. Women don't get in my car. I'll meet you there. Meet me where I'm at. And they see that. They're like, okay, he's got his shit, but he's not. He does it for himself. He's not overselling that. He doesn't even include me in on that. So you even got to watch a woman being in your ride. That's emotional. A woman sitting next to you in your ride, especially if she likes you a lot, is looking at you and she's like, <laughs> I, tr I truly mean this. You motherfuckers are like, yeah, I got this ride. This bitch like me. Okay. She's going about to shank your ass in a minute. And so I'm telling you, if you got a girl in your car and she really likes you, she'd be like, thank you for letting me in your car. And if a girl don't like you, if a, if you, if a girl's in your car and doesn't like you, complete opposite direction. Where are we going? Are we going to eat? And then meanwhile, if you got a girl that really likes you, I don't care what we do. I, I don't care what we do. Whatever you want. But you got to be careful with both bitches. <laughs> because the other one don't like you. You know that. She ain't going to kill you because she don't like you. Okay? You're safer with the one that doesn't like you. <laughs> You're right. This is why I always say that women are better off to go with a guy who can get women, a lot of women, and stop wanting that little simp that can't get no women because that's the dude that's going to kill you. The dude with women can replace you. So you're better off, ladies, to go with a guy who's kind of at the point in his life where he wants one woman. You can't force it. You can't change him. He wants it. So work your way up to be that, to be that woman, Okay. But you know he can get other women. You're better off with that guy. He ain't going to kill you because he's just going to replace you. He'll have another bitch in five minutes. You just go like this and another bitch will be there. But the worst guy to go with is the guy that cannot get a bitch. <laughs> That's the worst guy to go with. He going to kill your ass. Okay? You'll be on Forensic Files 2023. And so you got to be careful with women you don't want what you introduce them to and what you let them be included on this is game i could only teach this game is saying it like this okay because it's me and notice that my game comes from a position of strength not weakness we don't run to other fucking countries for a hoe fuck that it all comes from a position of strength and leadership and and it's amazing but it's understandable why all these little whack channels are so successful it's because most men are weak i made a video most people are weak <laughs> and so while you're getting a ride with doors that go up hoping a motherfucker likes you i'm not letting her in my car 
because I already know the psychology of the woman because I only deal with women that see me as a fucking champion. I'm not pulling no one's leg. I'm not coercing you. I'm not wearing you down. I'm not doing none of that. Maybe there's a time you do that so you can see you don't have to do that. So maybe there's a time in your life where you tried to, to wear a woman down, like your boy Boyce Watkins. Your boy Boyce Watkins, is that his name? Boyce Watkins. Boyce Watkins waited like a clown for a woman that didn't want him. And he went and got himself a pool and all this shit. He said, baby, you can have the pool. You can have everything. Hey, listen, never get on Anita to propose to a woman. Never. I got a video coming out on that. I'll make a short. Fuck it. This is going to be the video. I'll clip it. Never propose to a woman. Really, you shouldn't propose to women, period. They should propose to you. However, if you are going to propose, do not get on a knee like a peasant and fucking look up to this bitch. It's a rap fam if you do that. Even my first wife, and I only been married once, she proposed to me. She bought my ring and everything. Shout out to her. She wanted it. And I gave it to her. You should not propose to a female. Fuck that. Do not propose to a female. If she wants marriage, she could propose to you. I truly do mean this. If you, you want to marry me, I got to see a lot. I got to see a lot. You got to be a lot. It's a process. And you can propose to me. If, if the girl's like, well, I want to get married in a church and I wanted the traditional way. Take your traditional ass out of my face. I don't do shit like that. I don't get on a knee and propose to anybody. Do you understand? <laughs> I don't do that shit. And if you want a traditional man, take your ass back out to the world and find you a simp. Then he'll do that traditional shit for you. And then you'll fucking dog him out. I'm not doing that. You can propose to me. And I already lived this. I already lived this. I'm talking about what I, what I have done. <laughs> Fuck out of here. When I saw that picture of him proposing to that bitch, I was like, I hate to call her a bitch. I don't want to call the man's wife a bitch. I retract that. I don't want to call the man's wife a bitch. I don't. But the behavior of, I'm not talking about the man. I'm talking about the behavior Big old shit-eating grin on his vein. Fuck out of here. Don't propose to women. Do not do it. Fuck that. If you're that dude, they can propose to you. They can campaign for the marriage. They can get down on one knee. I had another girl. I had another girl get on a knee and propose to me. She asked me for marriage every day. This happened in real life. Can I please have your children? The only women that you should fuck with are those that are begging you for your DNA. They're begging you for your genes. They're begging you for your leadership. They're literally begging you. I'm serious about this shit. Like, they got to be every day... God, I got to have my kids look like you. God, I got to have my kids talk like you. God, I got I to gotta watch you raise my, the, the children. I have to cook for you. I have to. I have to be your wife. Like, this is it for me. If she's not talking like that, she is not going to be your wife. Don't marry a woman unless she is ecstatic and thrilled about being your wife. You know, you want to know the other woman that you, you should, that, she, that, that could be your wife? The woman don't want no wedding. If you tell a woman, oh, you want to get married? Oh, okay. A J-O-P on Monday. J-O-P. Hey, that don't mean you got to go do it. You're just testing her. Okay. We're going to go to the courthouse on Monday. If she's like, really? Oh, really? And say, okay, not really, not yet. But but it's possible. It's on the menu. It's on the menu. Got it. Got to keep seeing some good, I see some good things. Got to keep them up. But if you notice the reaction, if this woman doesn't care where you, where you get married, as long as you get married, or even, even 
I'll take it a step further in just a minute. Throw that at your girl. J-O-P on Monday. Really? Oh, my God. It's like a dream come true to get married at, at the Justice of the Peace. But if, oh, I want a, wedding, a traditional wedding in the church. Bitch, go marry somebody else. I'm not having a big wedding with you. Ten grand. I ain't paying for that shit. Sixty dollars. Sixty bucks. I'm saving my money. And a woman that loves you wants you to save your money. She doesn't want you to spend money on that nonsense. She's going to punish you anyway for spending it. <laughs> she, a woman will punish you for giving her the wedding she wants. A woman will punish you eventually for giving her the marriage she wants. Fuck that. J-O-P, 60 bucks. Take it or leave it. And a woman that loves you will say, oh, my God, I just want to marry you. And let's take it a step further. A woman that's bought into you and really wants to marry you won't even pressure you for marriage. You never have to marry her. She'll just be happy to be included in the process of this man. But if you've never lived that, you could, cannot even comprehend that. You're thinking about fucking Brazil right now. <laughs> You're thinking about Brazil. Man, if you got $5,000 in your bank account, you're rich out there. Like, who talks like that? <laughs> Why is that even on your mind? So that guy, he gave her boyfriend energy and he confused her. He, he later went on to tell her because she couldn't have, she couldn't climax. She couldn't climax uh, during sex. She couldn't climax. And he attributed that to her, that she was abused when she was younger. And according to her, he was buying all kind of creams and shit. He was putting things inside her to see if that would help her come to an orgasm. Like, bruv, you can't come. That's on you. <laughs> like, I ain't sitting here trying to figure out like a Rubik's Cube and shit, like trying to figure out how to make. Look, if you ain't ready, you just ain't ready. There's another woman that's getting 15 O's in 20 minutes. If you can't get one O in, in, in 15, then we are not compatible, baby. And you probably need to go see, you know, you probably need to get that checked out. You probably need to get that checked out. Don't be trying to kill yourself to make these women orgasm. They're supposed to be, you know, and, and every woman's body is different. It, every, every woman's body is different. And then what you do with one, you, you may not be able to do with another. That's true. But at the same time, you know, pick the women that you're most compatible with. Pick the women that you're most compatible with. But you can't make fun of her. He, he made fun of her, according to her story, which I do believe that he probably did it at some point. And that's another way guys want to get rid of women. They're mean to them. Uh, you know, I've even done that in the past. I'm like, I'm just going to be mean to this woman. Eventually, she'll go away. That was that was bad game when I did that. It does work sometimes, but they're, they're, but you're sending her off. With a bunch of negative energy. You know, there's a way to let women go. But there's all, but you can't, you don't have to ever let her go if she knows the terms and conditions up front. And so I believe that he led this woman on, or maybe he liked her at a point. Um, and then he turned out, he later, it was later revealed to him that he doesn't like her too much and that he has other options and that he wanted to explore those options. Well, you you sold this woman a lie. You know, you, you let her stay in the house. You let her sleep over. And so that's why I say I don't even let women in my car. I don't even let women in my car. You guys got to try that. Don't let them in your car. Pull up in a dope-ass ride. Don't ever let them in it. <laughs> Pull up in the ride that you like, whatever it is. It could be a fucking expedition. It could be a pickup truck. 
It could be a Ram, uh, you know, Dodge Ram. It could be a Tundra. Tundras are dope. Uh, it could be whatever car you like. Pull up in that motherfucker, pristine, but don't ever let her in the car. She's like, well, can I just go with you? No, no, you can follow me. No, no, you can follow me. And then she sees. Damn. And she'll even ask you, uh, how come I've never been in your car? I don't let people in my car like that. I don't let women in my car like that. I don't even let dudes in my car like that. I remember one time I had a good friend of mine broke my car seat. I was like, you can't come in my car. Every time you come in my car, there's a mechanism broken. Fucking motor went out and shit. Like, nah, y'all can't come in my car like that. Nope. Because guess what? I got to pay for the motherfucker. <laughs> so can't come in my car. Can't come in my car. Fucking stink and shit. Tss, fuck out my car, you smelly motherfucker. Yeah, we're about to end the show anyway. Not enough appreciation for this real game that I'm kicking. And so uh, and I might not go live for a minute because uh, uh, I'm a busy man. And so... Uh, you'll find out when life kicks your fucking ass. You'll say, Coach O tried to tell me. Coach O was right. I was just a jealous hater. That's, that's the truth. Secret watching, jealous ass hater. And so uh, you got to live with that, not me. And so I'm, I'm giving you the facts. Unless that woman wants you for you, don't ever propose to a woman. I don't know. What? what? Propose? <laughs> Shit, you lucky you got my time. You know how valuable I am? You want, a, you want a proposal and a ring and a wedding, bitch? You know how fucking valuable I am? If you think like me, women are just happy to have two hours. Uh, hey, thank you so much for letting me come over today. It was so great to see you. Oh, my God, I love your face. I love, I just love being around you. Like, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And then they send you a gift. And then they bring you gifts. And until you've experienced that, you'll never know this life. Remember, I see what you see, but I don't experience what you experience. Quote me on that. I see what you see. But I don't experience what you experience. And there is a big difference between the two. I see feminism. I see the signs. I see whack-ass men talking about it. I see soft dudes uh, um, talking about that shit. I see it, but I don't experience that. Feminism what? I don't know about no feminism. What the, what the fuck is that? I see a woman. I see a woman. That's what I, I see a woman. And so I see all your little campaigns. I see all your little bullshit videos. I see them when they scroll. I don't watch you. I see it, but I don't experience that. That is not my experience. And that doesn't have to be your experience. It doesn't have to be. Or it will continue to be. Fred Casillas, ten dollars. Thanks, Coach, for putting this subject in proper perspective. I thought it was strange for a woman to get married so desperately. JP, twenty dollars. Salute, Coachio. You gave a great message today. I took much notes on your game and wisdom. I never knew this stuff. It's it's not talked about on YouTube. It, yeah, it's not talked about anywhere. Not to this extent with great details. Don't let any women in your car. Literally none. <laughs> Are you going to pick me up? No, no, no. You're going to meet me where I'm at. Oh, you want me to meet you there? Yeah, yeah. Meet me there. But you got a car. You going to meet me there? All right. Fuck it. Uh, I'm going to move on with the night. We'll try to see what we can do later in the week or, or whenever. You just move on. You're not mad about it. We don't have time to be sitting over here while you go through your feelings. I've, I've told women that, hey, I don't got time for you to go through all your fucking feelings. Fuck that. We got shit to do. One task. 
I need you to be on point. I don't have time for you to be going through all this power trip and shit going in your head. Fuck that. You got to tell women how to control themselves. Oh, I see. You're thinking about a bunch of shit. Fuck that. You need to think about this one thing that I'm talking to you about. One thing. All that other stuff, vanish. Get rid of it. And you know what they do? They snap out of it. If you never told a woman that, they, they do snap out of it. They got all, they're, all, they're thinking all kind of shit. They're like, and it's like, yo, too much. You're thinking too much. I told you to do one thing. Think about that one thing. Got it? Yes, sir. Very good. You've brought order and balance. You know, I hear grown men saying women are nurturers. No, they're not. Men are nurturers. You guys got whack game. Been married too long. You've been married too long. Women are, men are nurturers. Women are not nurturers. Women are followers. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Women are followers. Men are lovers. Men are nurturers. Men are teachers. Men. Men are nurturers. You put a baby in a man's hands, that, that is a real man. He's going to love and care for that baby. You, you watch women in the grocery store screaming at their kids for nothing because you picked up a Twix bar. You picked up a Twix bar, and now you're going you're gonna to insult him like that? You fucking bitch. Women are not nurturers. They're not. Women have to be taught how to be nurturing from a man that's a nurturer. I told you this before. <laughs> Men are the true romantics. I said this years ago. Men are the true. Men fall in love. Men do. Men are lovers. Women are not lovers. They're opportunists. They live inside their mind. They live in their emotions. We all tend to do that. We do. But if you, pay, if you get enough experience with women, and this is not belittling to them. This is not. I don't give a fuck what you women think anyway. But it's not. It's not. It's, it's not belittling. It's the truth. You're not a nurturer. You're a spoiled brat. That's, that's what you are. You're a spoiled brat. That needs to be guided. And like I said before, you're only the shit after I make you the shit. That is when you're the shit, is when I've made you the shit. But you cannot and will not get to this place until you've become that yourself. You cannot just regurgitate these lines later. And think this is going to work for you. This has to be real. You have to be committed. You have to be stable and governing yourself. Every day, all day. You got to get rid of friends that are not good. Goodbye. Dope ride. I've had friends for 20 plus years. If I never see him again, it's fine with me. I, I don't. I wish him well. I could end any long term fr friendship. I could end it right now because I realize it might have to end. I'm good with that. We had a good run. I don't have to be your friend. I'm 43 years old next year. If I need friends at 43, if I need a lot of friends at 43, there's something wrong with me. Women are not nurturers. Women are not born nurturers. Fuck out of here. Women are born rebellious And they're great manipulators. Make women earn everything, guys. Everything. There's some good women out there. There are. But they're only good when they are head over heels in love with you. When they admire you. When they learn from you. Then they are good. But they are not good if they don't feel like that for you. They are not good. See you in the next video.